Well, I'm back in Davos for the World Economic Forum, and as always, I'm staying at the Hotel Concordia with mm -hmm. Ute Kolla, and the twelfth time for the twelfth years in a row. Yes. Twelve years in a row. Yes. And I can tell you, it is the best hotel in Davos. Oh, I thank love you it. very I love much. coming here every year. Jeanette and I, well, the best hospitality that we get anywhere in the world, and of course, Ute has been to South Africa. Yes. So I you loved know, it. and you know you know all about us in South Africa and yes. all the trouble we make here in yeah. Davos. Mm. I do, yes. <laughs> Have you had snow this year? Yes, unfortunately it came quite late. For Christmas, we have been it was a green Christmas and second of January it started. Seventy centimeters, one meter. Until today we have one meter and fifty wow. centimeters. And, and the coldness here, because you can see, uh, we're yeah, inside we and have, I've still got yeah, a jacket. It's, uh, we had minus 22, and today we have only minus 12. <laughs> so you, see what, warmer, you see what we go through, <laughs> minus 22. Is it going to be minus 22 this week? Uh, well, it's going to stay around minus 12, minus 15. A little bit warmer. You know, people in South Africa don't understand minuses. It, it, no? it doesn't happen. But... We've got lots happening this week. Uh, we'll be indoors for much of the time as well. Uh, Jacob Zuma is not coming this year. Uh, he decided over the weekend that he would rather send the Deputy President, Cyril Ramaphosa, which is quite a good thing in many ways because it gives Ramaphosa an opportunity to shine on the world stage. Uh, we'll be hopefully talking to him. We've put in a request for an interview, maybe Davos Diary tomorrow night. We can tell you all about that. Then we'll also uh, be talking to Winnie Bianyima. She is the executive director of Oxfam, and they've hit the headlines today with the news of their latest report saying that eight people in the world own as much as the bottom half of the world put together. It just sounds extraordinary. Three and a half billion people uh, own, own exactly the same amount as just eight. Well, we'll have all of those stories for you in the week, but don't miss our Davos diary. Thanks, uh, Ute, for making your debut on Business TV. Thank you for being with us again, Alec Internet, in Davos and the Hotel Concordia.